We see fatal plane crashes on the news all too often. But what if I told you it didn't have to be that way? What if I told you that there's a life-saving device that could have saved every person's life in nearly every circumstance? You may be wondering what this device is. It's a whole airplane parachute system that can safely bring down an entire airplane in the event of an emergency. This system is being produced by Ballistics Recovery System, also known as BRS, and was developed with the help of NASA. So far, 30,000 systems have been installed, and 266 lives saved. The BRS parachute system works in a relatively simple way. I spoke with John Abbott, a local pilot at Midland, Michigan's Jack Barstow Airport, and an owner of a cold Mark III Extra equipped with the system. What we have here is a solid fuel rocket, which attached to it is cables that are attached to a parachute contained in the wing, and it is initiated by a red handle, which is down right beside your leg. And when a situation occurs where you can't possibly remedy the situation any other way, you take this as a last resort. What happens is you pull the handle, it activates the rocket, the rocket shoots up out of the wing, pull the parachute right out of the wing and it enlarges on what's called a slip ring so that it gives you an easy opening as opposed to an abrupt opening. And this is what saved your life. Uh, what was it like to work with BRS installing your system? Well, they're, they're, first of all, they're experts in nothing. They've been doing this for years. And they started out with, with uh, uh, hang gliders as a, as a concept. And it's moved to this kind of aircraft and to even to the, the, the high-end aircraft. But because they're the experts, they're able to see German just what is the right setup for a uh, system. And you have to demonstrate that you've got it in the center of, your, of gravity in the, in the aircraft. You've got to demonstrate that it can be released clearly uh, without any problems. And uh, you have to show that where the red handle is and make sure that that cable, in fact, is not in any way uh, uh, taped or anything in that, in, that, in that order. So it's all, the whole system is, has to be approved by them. NASA and BRS have been working together through the Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program. In 1994, BRS received a Phase One award from NASA, helping it in the development of a thin film parachute material. This material had to withstand the shock of deployment as well as the forces of aerodynamic deceleration. In 1998, BRS applied for a patent on this new material. The new material was a thin film polymer with a very high strength to weight ratio. Because of NASA's involvement, they also retained certain rights to the invention. To, to demonstrate to you that this is an important, uh, important safety feature, one of the most expensive uh, four-place aircraft, which is a Cirrus, has a built-in, has a regular feature of their aircraft. Your Cessnas and others haven't done that yet. So the high end says it's important, and this is the low end. Why? So in the future, do you think a lot of other airplanes will start having this system? Do you think a lot of more planes are going to have uh, this standard on it? I think this is the future of flying. I think this is the way to fly. And I think people are recognizing that slowly, but they're recognizing it. So in the, in the new future, do you think that um, every plane in the market you're going to be able to buy will have this in it? They're even Yes, I think in fact they're already working on uh, the concept for a, a jet aircraft. This was not the end of NASA's partnership with BRS. As Mr. Abbott mentioned, they are also working on a parachute for mini jets, which NASA is also involved in. As you have seen here, NASA and BRS have created a life-saving device that has so far proven itself to have saved 266 lives. And what can be better than that? They've created what Mr. Abbott called the future of flying and the way to fly. In the future, NASA, through the SBIR program, with firms like BRS, will continue to invent the future. And the future will be a safe one.